Hello everyone, hope you're having a wonderful day and welcome once again. So today I'm going to be starting a new series where I count down what I think are the top 10 Grand Prix for a particular driver. We'll start off with my current favourite driver on the grid, Australia's Daniel Ricciardo, who will be having his first Grand Prix for Renault this weekend. Ricciardo has previously driven for HRT, Toro Rosso and Red Bull. At Red Bull he took 7 race wins and finished 3rd in the Drivers' Championship in both 2014 and 2016. The reason Daniel is my favourite driver is purely because of his wonderful personality. There have only been a few occasions where Daniel has lost the reason to smile, but when things are going right for him, you can't help but feel pleased for him. He is also, without a doubt, one of the most exciting drivers on the current grid. There have been so many unforgettable overtakes during his time at Ripple, and even if Daniel doesn't quite manage to win a championship in his career, he will be remembered a long time after he retires. So onto the countdown. Number 10. Belgium 2014. Heading into the weekend at Spa Frockle Shop, it looked as if the Red Bulls would be unable to challenge the Mercedes and Williams cars due to the very long straights, but when the rain arrived during qualifying, Ricardo and Sebastian Vettel locked out the second row, beating the two Williams. Then on the second lap came the famous collision between the teammates Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg, giving them both damage and Ricardo the lead. Despite Rosberg charging back up to second, Ricardo was unchallenged to take his second consecutive win. Number 9, Abu Dhabi 2014. Red Bull had managed to secure a second in the Constructors' Championship heading into the final race of the season, but the team were caught using illegal front wings, so both cars started from the pit lane. As the world watched Rosberg's Mercedes tumble down the order due to mechanical problems, Ricardo drove a somewhat quiet race to finish fourth from the very back of the grid, as well as taking his first career fastest lap. Number 8, Australia 2012. Contact with Bruno Senna at the start almost brought Ricardo's first race at Toro Rosso to a premature end. He pitted at the end of the first lap, but it was unlikely for him to make that much progress. That was until the safety car came out, so Vitaly Petrol's surrounded cage room could be cleared. Ricardo also benefited from a collision between Senna and Felipe Massa, a last lap crash for Pastor Maldonado, and finally a puncture for Rosberg. Ricardo made a late move on teammate jean eric Bird with just a few corners to go to take ninth place and score his first ever points in F1. Number 7, Australia 2014. Rebel had had multiple mechanical failures during pre-season testing, so it looked likely that they would struggle for the season ahead. That was until Ricardo, at his first race for the team, qualified second in the rain. An issue for Lewis Hamilton's Mercedes meant Ricardo maintained second place behind the second Merck of Rosberg. He held off the charging rookie driver McLaren's Kevin Magnussen to take his first podium at his home Grand Prix. The first Australian to do this. Unfortunately, a few hours later, an illegal use of fuel was reported and Ricardo was excluded from the race altogether. Despite this, Ricardo's performance in that race still was a massive surprise and it showed that Red Bull had a good chance of still being quick that season. Number 6, Malaysia 2016. On the first corner, Sebastian Vettel's Ferrari collided with Rosberg, allowing the two Red Bulls of Ricardo and Max Verstappen to move up to second and third. At the front, it looked like it would be an easy win for Hamilton until his engine failed on lap 40. Daniel then had to hold off the charging Verstappen at the same place where the famous 40-21 incident had happened three and a half years earlier. But Ricardo would not be denied. He took his first win in over two years and did what is now his trademark shoey to the amusement of everyone involved. Number 5. Monaco 2018. In 2016, it was a disastrous pit stop that cost Ricardo the win at Monaco, so heading into the 2018 Monaco weekend, many people were praying that he would get redemption. However, on lap 28, it looked as though he had suffered rotten luck once again, when his MGUK failed and he also lost two gears. Despite this, Ricardo somehow dealt with the issue and the pressure from Vettel to take his most recent career win. Number 4. Canada 2014. Ricardo had had a quiet afternoon leading up to the two Mercedes suffering mechanical problems and it soon became a question of who was going to benefit when both cars lost their lead. Daniel had managed to jump teammate Vettel in the pit stops to move up to fourth and after Hamilton retired, Ricardo pulled a daring move on Sergio Perez's Force India to move up behind Rosberg, who he would go on to pass later on that same lap. A last lap crash between Perez and Felipe Massa meant the race finished behind the safety car and allowed an emotional Ricardo to cruise home for his first Grand Prix win and the first non Mercedes win since the V6 era first began. Number 3, Hungary 2014. The first and only wet race of the season produced a lot of drama. When Marcus Ericsson crashed his cage room bringing out the safety car, Ricardo and several others switched to dry tyres, 
which turned out to be the perfect strategy. Later on in the race, while both Mercedes battled with Fernando Alonso's Ferrari, Ricardo switched to a faster tyre and soon began his typical charge through the field. Pulling off two outstanding overtakes on Alonso and Hamilton, Daniel charged away to take his second win of that season. Number 2, Azerbaijan 2017 After the disappointing 2016 race at Baku, many people were hoping for more action for this season. And boy was there. While Valtteri Bottas, Kimi Raikkonen and the Force Indias all had collisions during the race, Ricardo benefited massively. On lap 24 he passed Massa, Lance Stroll and Nico Hulkenberg all in the same corner to move up to third. And when Vessel and Hamilton suffered different issues, Ricardo took the lead and never looked back. And number one, China 2018. On lap 30, the two Toro Rossos of Brendan Hartley and Pierre Gasly collided, leading to a safety car. Both Red Bulls pitted for new tyres and were likely to be quicker than the leaders in the closing stages. Daniel managed to overtake all five of the leaders, including his teammate Verstappen, and his move on Bottas is highly ranked with the best overtakes of 2018. On the podium, Ricardo said, I never seem to win boring races, and I personally hope that never changes. So what do you all think? Is your list different to mine? And which Grand Prix do you think is Ricardo's best so far? Let me know down in the comments. Also, look out for my review of the Australian Grand Prix, which should be out next week. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.